just a second. Shane! Oh, hey, Drew. Come here, you bastard. What's going on? Nothing. I, I didn't expect you to be in town. Yeah, just for the weekend. Had a little layover at the airport. Figure I'd stretch things out, surprise my mom. Yeah. Come on in. Uh, let me leave my rake outside. Yeah, do that. Hey, you know what I was just thinking about? <laughs> do you remember when Miss Lonis farted in assembly? Oh, I almost vomited. <laughs> the worst. Hey, you want to get a game of RBI baseball? Oh, man, I don't know. That Nintendo's really old. I don't even know where it is. What are you talking about? It's right here. It's all hooked up. Ready for me to start beating your ass. Bring it on. Come on, come on. All right, man. So, listen, I'm sorry I haven't been in touch with the old crew. I know I haven't called or emailed in a while. No, uh, don't worry about it. Your mom gives me all the updates. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're still cutting the grass. I cut the grass and I rake the leaves, yo. I'm gonna go get a pretzel if you want one. No, I'm good. Hey, how old were you when you first started mowing the lawn? Uh, I think I was like nine. And you're still doing it 20 years later. I got 36 lawns now. It's a whole freaking operation. So you're like a real gardener. You don't have to make it sound so weak. No, no, it's good, it's good. Oh, good. So mom's upstairs. She's getting ready for some hot date. I'll pay you for the lawn when we're done here. Mm, don't worry about it. I get everything going direct deposit nowadays. It saves me so much hassle. Look at you. <laughs> so you're just stopping by to say hi? No, uh, I'm the hot date. Yeah. <laughs> you're going out with my mom? Man, I knew this was going to be awkward. <laughs> she said her date was an entrepreneur. Yeah, I got 36 lawns, man. I just bought a snowblower to keep me busy in the wintertime. <laughs> How long? How long what? How long have you been going out with my mom? I don't know, off and on for a few years? Off and on? <laughs> how come nobody told me? Look, Cindy and I didn't know how you take... Don't call her Cindy! <laughs> I have to. Mrs. Friedberg and Drew's mom got really awkward about a month after we started sleeping together. Get out of my house, I man. can't get out of your house. I live here. Oh. You don't live here. You knocked on the door and you, you brought a rake. Oh, it's because we're role-playing. I was gonna be the guy that like does all this landscaping and she's gonna be my best friend's mom. Wait a minute, that's not role playing. That's exactly what it is. Look, it's Cindy's idea, man. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> hey, I mean, I know things have been hard on you recently. What are you talking about? I know you lost your job. She told you? She doesn't know. Yes, she does no, know. No, she doesn't. All right, keep your voice down. I heard the message on the machine. I deleted it. I said I talked to you and everything was fine. She's been sending me money. I've been sending you money. <laughs> A lot of money. Yeah, there's some big lawns in Maplewood, dog. <laughs> big lawns. Man, I don't know how I feel about all this. Come on. Uh, you always hated your dad. He was a schmuck. Yeah, and I was your best friend. So what? So everybody wants their dad to be their best friend. <laughs> You're not gonna be my dad, dude. Maybe. You're proposing? It's all up to her now. I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, I think I want her to say yes. <laughs> Look, I really, I really hope she does. <laughs> and, and we weren't expecting that you were gonna be in town this weekend, and maybe it's just a smart move if you sleep in the basement. Why? Yeah, a bit of a screamer. I, I don't want to hear about my mom's sex screams. I'm talking about mine. Basement. Yeah. Caught in the that's, that's great. That's great. Hey, I hope you're cool with all this, man. I am. Dad. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, oh. Who loves his papa? Who loves his papa? You do.